Sims, Mem to Big HD, and you guys wanted more Lego Ninjago, so today we have the Ninja DBX. This is set 70750. It has 756 pieces, and it's recommended for ages 8 to 14. It comes with Otto, Nia, Garmadon, Kai, Pythor, Chuprai, and Kapow. Okay, let's take a look at the back here. It looks like we have a transforming play feature. Okay, it's time to open it up and take a look inside. So you get bag number one, bag number five, bag four, bag six, bag three, the instruction booklet, another instruction booklet, some stickers, bag two, some wheels, and two more wheels, you got six total, and that's what you get. Okay guys, time to build. Okay, so here's the Ninja DBX, and let's take a look at the minifigures. First up, we have Garbodon. He comes with a staff. You can see some detailed printing on him. He's got the gray flowing hair with a serious look on his face. He's got white sleeves. He's got a green belt, and part of his shirt is ripped on the back. Next, we have Kai. He comes with two swords. He's got some cool printing on the front and back. He's got a cool red outfit. He's got one mean looking face and black hands. Next, we have Nia. She's got some cool armor and a helmet. She comes with two swords. She's got some shoulder pads. And she has two faces, a normal face, and she has a mask for the sky. Next, we have Kapow. This guy's Master Chen's servant. He's got a snake helmet with purple printing on his face. He comes with an anachondrite blade. He's got purple pants and some cool battle armor. And one arm is reddish brown. Next, we have Chop Rod. He comes with a fang blade hammer. He's got some soldier armor with fangs, and he's got the cool snake body. Underneath his armor, he has some printing on the back. Next, we have the new Pythor. This guy is all white with purple printing. He also has purple hands. He comes with the anachondri sword, and his mouth is open really wide. He's got red eyes and a long neck. And finally, we have Otto. On the box, it shows that this guy's a minifigure, but he's just a mini robot that you have to build out of smaller pieces. He looks like Wally's older brother. He's got pointy feet and black claw hands. And we also got the Anaconda Gateway. So this is a small little entrance. We got some grass and some plants at the bottom, and we got some stone pieces with stickers on them. There's a couple Anaconda swords, and on the top is a little circular piece with the Anaconda symbol. Okay, now let's bring out the big boy, the Ninja DBX. Here's a look all the way around. This is a powerful six-wheel vehicle, and it's a combination of a truck and a command center. There's huge gold blade details all around the vehicle. We have some ladders connected to the grill. We have a four-light headlight. We have some pointy gold pieces on the side that look like claws or fangs. We have some sides sticking out the front. There's also a tinted windshield that can go up like this. And inside we have space for two minifigures. You have to put them in one behind the other. But in the show, they're side by side. So let's stick in Garmadon, and I'll put Otto in the back. And there's the team. Right here we have some big gold blades. We also have these big wheels with gold rims. And it has Sensei Wu's hat for hubcaps. So if you're ever in battle and you need a hat, you can use it. It has some nice details on the top. There's some white flags here on the back that have what looks like Japanese characters. 
And on the back there's a giant sticker. On the license plate it says MJ4GO-5. On the back we have foldable spoilers and you can just put them down and cover the exhaust. The problem with this vehicle is that it doesn't have a roof. It's wide open and you can see all the way inside. Hopefully it doesn't rain. I am trying to work in here and I'm getting wet. Don't worry, just take one of these hubcaps. The main play feature of this set is that you can remove the command center by pulling it like this. Before I show you the command center, there's a cool play feature on this truck. Right here we have a hidden dual spring-loaded shooter, and you just have to unfold it like this. To fire it, all you have to do is push down on the missile like this. When the command center is removed, the vehicle can operate as a flatbed truck. Once the missiles are out, this truck is really hollow inside. I guess it doesn't have air conditioning. Okay, now let's take a look at the command center. On the back, there's a door with a pin. When the pin is released, the door unfolds. Here we have three screens. This panel has two swords and some weapon instructions on the screen. And there's some control sticks on the base. On the middle screen, we have the destination, which shows the gateway. And on this panel, we have some tools and some robot plans. You can also flip down these black hatches. And you can pull up this little watchtower. And you can put Nia on right here. And this part is actually a detachable flyer. You can remove it by just pulling it off like this. And you can fly it around like this. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship going through the sky. On this flyer, there's also two stud shooters. And you just press down to fire it. Yeah, yeah. There's a blue stud, and you can put auto on it like this. Hey, somebody get me off this thing. Here's a look at the bike. Let me remove it right now. There's places for two swords, and it has a little sticker on the front. You can put Kai on like this. Hey, look, Mom, no hands. When you're done, you can hook the bike back up like this, and then fold everything back up. All aboard. OK, guys, so that was the Ninja DBX. Leave me a comment telling me what you want me to build next. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.